you talked to Vera yet? Not yet. <laughs> Damn bastards are mocking us! They want to cover us in dust! <laughs> Sit down, Volodya. Don't be stupid. What's the use of getting killed for nothing? You know why I haven't called off the wedding yet? Because thanks to her father's connections, I get sent to Paris more often. But when I'm there, I don't see my fiance. I sleep with a dancer, a courtesan. Then leave her! If you know what this woman is, leave her! You make it sound so easy, father. It's hard because it's a battle for your soul. Don't let the devil Just win! Just shut up, Sasha! Father Alexander. <laughs> Father Alexander. Sasha! Sasha! <laughs> Sit down already, goddamn you. I will be damned for what I'm doing here. Madame said she'd be here by three? Yes. Punctuality is the virtue of kings. I'm only letting you in my house because I lost the bet. I hope you know that. <laughs> of course. If you want, we can make another bet, and maybe this time we could raise the stakes. Maybe. God of love, just put this monster here already. You want to come and visit my bedroom? Oh, my queen. <laughs> can I stay with you forever? I just want you to put it somewhere safe. Uh, there are important documents inside. Here's this stupid case. Hasn't gone anywhere, has it? And look what I found. Oh, much that's more interesting. Great. <laughs> it's Beaujolais. Mmm, so good. Shut up. 
put that back into the case. You are beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Madam. What? No? It's But it wasn't supposed to come until Wednesday. What's wrong? Get your stuff fast. Mister. What's going on? What's the matter? I'm afraid we'll have to postpone this to a later time. idiot telling friends at the bar that he slept with Matahari. You have to go now, Pierre. I still have to get the house ready for Vladimir. Vladimir, the way you say his name. I say his name the way it's pronounced. And it provides very valuable information, as you know it. A silly, naive lover boy is a dangerous man, second only to a conscientious traitor. Just like you, monsieur. You sound offended, madam. Does that mean you care about this Russian? Yeah. We should go now. people around. I don't know what to do, sir. That's all right. Don't do anything, monsieur. People are getting rid of German spies. I must say, good work. Thank you, sir. Come with me to the Bureau. I have some special missions to discuss with you. That sound good? Absolutely, sir. Sorry this had to be so late. No worries, Monsieur Lenoir. You are always welcome. Don't take too much risk. It's not that urgent. I understand. Good night, Monsieur. Good night. Captain Ledoux, report. Riots and civil disturbances are increasing, as well our complaints about the army and Complaints the are unavoidable. But we can minimize it. There have been reports of attacks on people suspected of being spies or deserters. And how does that help us minimize the public's dissatisfaction? Well, our reports show people are obsessed with spies. They're starting to accuse neighbors, shopkeepers. We can use this to our advantage. Use it out of our advantage. Spies can make convenient scapegoats. You can blame them for anything. Who is to blame for the many thousands who died at the Battle of Verdun? The spies are. Who is to blame for the failure itself? Spies as well. 
If your bureau is in charge of finding spies, that would mean that you're to blame. I would prefer to lose my own reputation than to have people lose respect for the Army and our government. Well said. Yes, and really appreciated. What do you need from us, Captain? A free hand to do whatever I need, and I promise you, we will catch enough spies or I'll take all the blame. All right, but I don't want you to overdo it. There should be no charges without evidence. Bending the law will not be tolerated. Certainly, sir. I'm aware of that, General. Next item. The death of Father Alexander is a great loss. He was a true man of God and a brave officer. Terrible blow to the soldiers. We can't. Men like him are irreplaceable. Especially now when such terrible things are happening in Russia. Your okay. Excellency. You're leaving. Aren't you staying for the memorial dinner? I would, sir. My father-in-law wants to see me. Oh, family matters. I see. Well, you are on leave, so... Thank you, sir. Captain! Our French allies left documents for us at their headquarters. Please pick them up before you go. Will do, sir. I'm surprised he's leaving. Yes, I was under the impression Captain Maslov was Father Alexander's closest friend. Come in, my dear friend. We were just discussing the operation. Good day, Monsieur Captain. It's a disgrace that she's still alive. Well, she's just too famous to be burned alive in public. I will be happy to hang the whore from a lamppost and take all the blame. You can court-martial me. You can send me back to the front lines, and I'll be happy to go if I can first see this harlot with a rope around her neck. I like your enthusiasm, but we have to follow the law. Remember, I hate her as much as you do. I want the mansion under surveillance at all times. If you see anything suspicious, report to me immediately. She's the carrier who sends and receives letters for her. I don't want you to intercept her. I want her colleagues as well. That clear? long, but later I can stay for a whole night. I'd rather you stayed for life. Can you have breakfast with me? Breakfast? Mm -hmm. Did you just wake up? Hmm? <laughs> yes. I had a show last night. How wonderful I am at this. <laughs> You'll be so happy. 
No? Let me feed you. What's that mean? My things are as dark as... as suit is white. My friend was killed. Our priest. And I ran away from the funeral to be with you. It. You a warrior? Warriors should eat to be strong. It's a map. I made five photographs. Good job. Your bank account will get larger by the day. I might not get a chance to use it. Someone is following me again. Anna, you must be very tired. No one is following you. It's in your mind. Trust me. Hmm? Everything will be fine. You have to deliver this tonight to Mr. Lenoir. You speak in German, bitch. I'm not German. I'm Dutch. She doesn't have money, just some change. She must have more. Such a fat German cow. <laughs> Scream louder. They'll be happy to hang you or tear you to pieces. <laughs> Sir, we search, but we found nothing on her. Only a bit of money. No documents, no film. The photographs turn out well. Anna did a good job. She's got pictures of some maps. It's the new positions. The Russians plan an attack in the next few days. Excellent. I'll send it immediately through the Portuguese consulate. When are you going to publish the book, Pierre? As soon as our friends enter Paris. Hmm. Soon then. With these documents, the Germans will set a trap for the Russians. All of them will get killed. Don't you feel sorry about your Vladimir? This photograph should be the cover. Good choice. Good morning, my dear. You didn't sleep well? I had a little headache. You should 
stop worrying so much. It won't help him, and it's not good for you. It's going to be two weeks the day after tomorrow. I miss him so. Oh, my God. We've been so worried about you. All this terrible news. But I shouldn't talk about it. Forgive me. You must be starving. Everything is ready for the wedding. I got a new dress. And Father has arranged to have the ceremony at the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. We just need someone to officiate. Uh, you wanted Father Alexander to do it. We can arrange that. Father Alexander is dead. Oh, my God. What happened? He died protecting me. I'm very sorry. Then you should ask Father Kirill if he's available for the wedding. Will you stop talking about this goddamn wedding for just a moment? I'm sorry. I have been lying to you and to you. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. What are you saying? I'm in love with someone else, Vera. I cannot marry you. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Volodya, I beg you. I don't mind this woman being in your life. But don't leave me, please. What are you saying, Vera? I can't. Be with her and be with me. I can't be without you. I'm sorry. So, how's she? Well, they didn't do anything awful to her. She's having a nervous breakdown. What do you suggest? Yes, laudanum. One teaspoon a day. Be careful. You can't give her too much, or she might not wake up. I understand. How much do I owe you? Five hundred francs, madam. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Anna, my dear. Do you want to talk about it? Hmm? Those people were looking for something. I told you someone was following me. But you never listened. Who is someone? What are they looking for? Tell me. They want what we steal from people. The documents. I won't go home. Or I go to police. Let me go home. All right. All right. We will go home to La Ag soon. I promise. Thank you. Okay. Now you need to move. Hmm? And take your medicine. All right. Good evening, Monsieur Lenoir. Oh, Monsieur Winner. So you're buying bread in the middle of the night? Yes, but it's only when they bring the fresh one. Oh. Ah, you've got a very special relationship with your baker. Stop! 
Don't shoot! Idiot! We needed to talk to him. Since you're so trigger happy, we'll send you to the trenches at the front lines. Should we rest the baker? Of course. Frau Schrappenmuller, please. I'm expecting you. Come in. Agent H-21 has no means of communication. Why? Lenoir was killed. Ladu has the baker. Does the baker know about Madhari? Of course not. They're too close to her now. They've always been close. I have a plan in mind. May I? Matahari's maid is concerned about her life and wants to go back to Holland. We can't do that. She knows too much. We'll deal with it. I'll go to Paris myself and replace her as Matahari's help. Are you insane? This is too dangerous. I won't let you take this kind of risk. What's that? A message from the headquarters. They are thanking us for the information on the Russian attack. And they say Mata Hari is now our top priority and we're to give her support and a new mission. All right then. Go ahead. Thank you, Colonel. I've been getting lousy cars for three days now. You'll get lucky in love instead. A guy gets lucky in love as long as he has money. You are confusing love and lust. They are different things, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure. So what is the ring you're wearing? A token of love is it a reminder of lust? Neither one, Lieutenant. I forgot I was wearing it. Captain Maslow? Yeah, that's me. An order from the headquarters. Thank you, sir. One minute, Lieutenant. If you don't mind, send this letter with a courier, please. Will do. What is that? An order to attack. <laughs> Here we are. Time for goodbyes. Thank you for everything. Take care of yourself. And... Yes, I will. Please, be careful. We'll be late for the train. I guess you need a new maid. <laughs> I'll be your connection. I hear it's tough for spies nowadays. Many people are getting caught. The police are hunting them down. That's all right. They won't get you. And, um, what do you know about housekeeping? 
I grew up in a large family, so I know a lot. That's good. Have a lot of guests. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll get it. Very good start. Good evening. Good evening. I would like to see Mademoiselle Matahari. She knows me. You can let her come in. Elizabeth? Can you make us tea? Sure. Thank you. Why are you stopping here? What happened? Because you arrived. It's warm in here. They often can't even make a fire in the trenches. Volody told me. Did he tell you that too? Mm. <laughs> we have other topics. In fact, we don't talk that much. Almost never. You are a beautiful woman. I understand why he got so engrossed. Listen, I've had a very long day and I'm exhausted. So what do you want? I don't know. <laughs> he called the wedding off. We were just supposed to get married. I'm sorry to hear that. But it has nothing to do with me. I certainly didn't ask him to call the wedding. He said he called it off because he wouldn't lie. Oh, I can teach him to lie. That's what you want. You talk very cruelly, but I think you are not as heartless as you want people to believe. <laughs> really? Why would you think so? Do you see much hardness in what I do? Thank you. No, trust me, dear. I'm just playing around. Vladimir is young and gorgeous. Gorgeous as a god. And that's why I'm with him. So, if he is wounded or crippled, will you leave him then? Well, if it's just a scar on the cheek or across the forehead, it probably will add to his charm. But a cripple, oh, no. It's not my cup of tea. I think I shouldn't have come. The feeling is mutual, sweetie. You know the way out. You know, I still think Valodia could not fall in love with someone like you are a better person. Probably you just don't know it yourself. Come on, guys. Let's do 
Stupid. Keeping it down, are they? Strange. Want us to get closer. Dinner is ready. Frau Doctor herself is making me a dinner. It's an honor. You've had a lot to drink today. How dare you talk to me this way? Hmm. Worried about your Russian friend, aren't you? Open the door. Monsieur Salva. Monsieur? What is going on? Why are you wearing this uniform? I'm being sent to the front lines. But consider me lucky. My boss has been sentenced to prison. What for? Somehow the Germans learned about the new grade of steel our ministry department has been working on. Have a seat. Thank you. How did they find out? Who knows? I just know I'm going to a place and very bad things are happening there. What things? The Boches used gas against the Russians. They were blinded and coughed up their own lungs, but still kept on fighting. The dead battalion. Be mine tonight, I beg of you. Tomorrow I leave and may never come back. I am so scared. Don't be a coward. You want to make love to me, don't you? Yes, I do. Very much. So you need to act like a man at all times. Understand? Elizabeth. Yes, madame. You'll get a bag ready for me. I will be going to Vital very soon. Yes. Vita was near the front lines. Only the second bureau can issue a permit to go there. And then I will get a permit. Tomorrow you will want to be even more alive. Can you 
serve the dinner in an hour? Surely. Thank you. Now that your soldier has finally left, we can have breakfast. I'm in a hurry. Where to? To Vitel. Did you forget? Oh. To visit your darling Vladimir at the hospital. That can be my excuse to get closer to the front. Wouldn't Colonia be happy? receive information from the French army positions. An excuse? Well, yes, of course. If I cared so much for Vladimir, why would I invite another man into my bed? And speaking of Salbarb, I wonder if he had brought the police with him would you have him dead? I would. And you'd kill me too, right? If I had to, I suppose I would. officers in the hospital in Vitale. I'd like to visit him. Yeah? You need to make an appointment with an officer at the second bureau. Uh, the gentleman there will help you. Thank you. Captain Ledoux, please. Good afternoon, Captain. Monsieur Werner. Do you remember me, ma'am? I prefer not to. But I think you do. I happen to remember who tried to kill me. So, you go by Georges Ladoux now? I always have. Georges Ladoux. Oh, wow. Let's talk, then. Who gave you permission to sit down? Your lovely manner, Steve, monsieur. Please, sit away from my desk. Let's see what you have. Is that a search? Really? Gentlemen, be careful. I have very good connections. Should they hear that the second bureau is harassing me? Despite that I am proving my devotion to friends. Hmm? Find anything yet? Perhaps you prefer to search me, huh? Please, don't be shy. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, please. Hmm? After all, what am I? A woman dancing naked on the stage? 
A whore and a spy, obviously. Enough. This is not what you came for. You want to go to Vitell to visit your wounded Russian lover, Captain Vladimir Maslov. Correct. My lover and future husband. If you say. Well, your future husband is injured. Do you know it might be dangerous? Visit him in a hospital, which is right next to the front line? I'm aware of that, monsieur. I heard that he was gassed. Do you know anything about the circumstances? I only know what the papers say. The Germans knew about the attack. So they could set a trap for the Russians. If it's true, it is terrible. You are acquainted with many German officers, some of them high in the chain of command. Of course I do. But to be absolutely honest with you, I don't even know which position they hold. Or who is even still alive. <laughs> Colonel Nikolai, for example. Or Lieutenant Schrockmuller. Who? Nikolai. Nikolai? Sounds familiar. But Schrockmuller? Schrockmuller? No. Never heard of him. Of her? She is a woman. She's a lieutenant and a physician. Sometimes they call her Frau Doctor. I need to know where she is. And I want the names of all German officers whom you are familiar with. So you can blackmail them? Mm-hmm. So you want me to become your agent, don't you? Hmm. I'm ready. But in exchange, I want to have the permission to go to Vitell and a protection. Protection from whom? From the enemies, of course. Hmm. That means you agree to work for the Second Bureau. What do I have to do? Mateen, a permit form. Are you sure, sir? It needs to say that she has freedom of travel. I want her to have permission to go to Vitell to visit the hospital. forced her to talk. Because Jaffa said to do it legally. I got a list of Matahari's contacts. It's in her own handwriting. And she's agreed to work for us. Matahari is our agent now. But if she makes one move I don't like, I will send this paper to the Germans. And they will sell her out themselves. And they will either kill her or I can kill Matahari myself, legally.
Homeless people fished a box with a dead woman out of the river. Horrible things are happening in Paris. It's not safe. Here we should go. So, this is how it ends. Madame? Hello, David. I just wanted to... I know. I heard about the explosions by the river. So Paris is no longer safe. It seems so. The police left a few papers and photographs there on the desk. They took everything else. They even tore apart the galleys. That's a shame. What will happen to this place? I don't know. The new owner won't keep me here anymore. Since I was working for the spy. Did you know he was a spy? Of course not. Would you take this to the cart for me? Would you? Yes. Thank you. She got up for a walk on Saint Michel. Just as they fished the body from the river, she might suspect something. I'm really worried about her visit to the Deuxième Bureau. And this trip to Vittel, too. You are taking her to the station tomorrow morning. 
I will walk her out. If I'm wearing an apron, you'll kill her. On the way, like you killed Anna. If I'm not wearing an apron, you take our madam to the station then. How is your Russian friend doing? Uh, Vladim, right? <laughs> Vladimir is doing good. Thank you. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, madame. I don't understand why the Bureau gave you permission to go to Vitell. The same way I've gotten so many other documents. My methods are well proven and always efficient. Ladu is your lover? <laughs> of course not. With his lieutenant. He was handsome too, so that made it easy. Anyway, he was bringing in documents for Ladu to sign. And he was looking at me so lustfully. So I suggested we go into his office, just the two of us. And in exchange, give me the permit to VTEL. Very simple. So, you went in his office with him? You want to hear details? Maybe when I'm back. I will bring you all the documents you need and all the information you need. I'm very good at memorizing things. I will take notes and maybe I will take photographs. Don't take too much risk, and come back soon. I will. Oh, that must be Jacques. Right on time. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Oh. Are you coming with us, Elizabeth? Oh, no. I'm just going to take a walk. Bye. Bye. This is Guy, our youngest. There, there, my dear. Hmm. You must stay strong. Guy took arms to avenge his brothers. The first day he was there, his unit took part in an offensive at the River Somme. My baby died. They stabbed him at the trench. As if he were alone. Agatha, please. Sorry. Don't. How old was he? Nineteen. We are on our way to our middle son now. His name is Simon, like mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was around the Russians when the Germans used gas. Did he die? No, thanks God, no. But he was crippled. We don't yet know how badly. Anyway, he survived and can't fight anymore. That's what matters. At least one of our sons will stay with us. All right. It's your turn now. Tell us about yourself. Whom are you visiting? My fiance. He's a Russian officer. And he was gassed, too. I'm going to have a walk in the car door. Of course. Thank you for sharing. Sorry.
Excuse me, sir. How long are we stopping here? Five minutes. Please, take a seat, madam. Here is Captain Maslov. 
Who is it? Is it for me? I wish it were for me. What a beauty. Ma Ma Margaret, is it you? Yes, my love. Why are you here? How did you find out? From the papers. May I? Be my guest. Thank you. Promise to spend the rest of your life with me. Remember? I'm not going to spend my life with a promiscuous woman. How nasty. But it won't work, you know. What won't? Trying to push me away. We can't be together now. You must see that. No, I don't. I've played at love, but now I fell in love for real. I want to marry you. I spent the rest of my life with you. Damn it. Shh. Georgi, take the razor from her, for Christ's sake! Georgi Mihailovich, where are you? Who are you looking for? To hell with him. I am a cripple, Margaret. They've cut half my lungs out. I may stay blind for life. I cannot carry you around in my arms anymore. I'm a different man now. Well, it's time for me to carry you in my arms. Please marry me. You will regret it. Never, 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 never. Monsieur Salinas? Who are you? I'm from for our doctor. <sighs> Too bad. I was hoping to see Frau personally. I don't have much time, so get to the point. Our sources have information that Matahari has been recruited by the Second Bureau. She named her contacts in Germany. Are you sure that it is not a trick of the Second Bureau? The list of names that she gave them, we have seen it. I understand. I will tell Frau Doctor. There is one more thing. We found out that Matahari may be heading for Madrid. So hurry up then. Six arsonists who tried to set food stores on fire have been detained in the suburbs. Only two could be brought to Vasson. The other four were butchered by the crowd. Oh, those cruel Parisians. Our agents' provocateurs need to be paid, Monsieur. Yes, 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 yes. Do you have the documents? No, but I can get them for you. First, tell me what's going on with Matahari. I didn't want to kill your mood, Captain. But Agent Arnaud reports that Matahari spends days and nights by Maslov's bedside. You surely mean in his bed. No, he is crippled, almost blind, Monsieur. She is taking care of him. <laughs> Harlot. So now she's an angel. It's got to be a trick. Keep a close watch on her. It's cloudy today. Yeah, I can see it myself. You can try with the other eye. The doctor said that if you can see the light, your vision may come back. Can you see something? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
The doctor also said that a weather like Russia might be good for you. Weather like Russia is in Russia. I know things are getting bad there, and I will be a complete stranger. I think maybe we can go to Holland. I have money in a house in Hague. But I will be a stranger there. Are you suggesting I live off your money? Of course not. But I have good connections, and maybe you can serve. Maybe you can write a resignation letter, can't you? Yes, I can, but I am on indefinite leave now. It seems you have already made all the decisions. <laughs> yes. I've written to the banker, and I booked two tickets to Nice. And we can go to Madrid and then Bilbao. And from there, we'll get the money and go by ferry to Ag. What if I say no? I won't go either. But we can try, my love. And if it's not working, we'll go to Russia. The only thing is, I want to be with you. It's the only thing that I want. Spaniard said Matahari is about to leave, and we need to hurry. My source confirmed. Our agent in the Rothschild Bank reported that they received a letter from Margaret Zella. She asked for her money to be transferred to Madrid. The information is reliable. She wants to run away. We need to send an anonymous letter to the Bureau to let them know about her request to the bank. Right now. Consider yourself lucky that your incompetence delayed the transaction. But we can't delay further. It would be illegal. We are at war. In a war, anything that helps to beat the enemy is legal. Still, I need a written order. I need you to accept responsibility. I will hold you responsible if the traitor Margaret Zeller receives a single cent from our account. Not one cent! Do you hear me? Now, get out of my sight. Yes, sir. It's too late. They're in Madrid already. That sneaky whore. Thank God the director was stuck in bed with his mistress and hadn't sent the money yet. It gives us time to form a new plan. Looks like God's on our side. Or the devil. Anyway, let's go to Madrid, Mateen. from Russia gets worse every day. Desertion, defeats, starvation, the army's a mess. The Tsar can't control the country anymore. Resignation, at a time like this, might be seen as abandoning your duty. You want to risk that? My resignation is due to my injury. I cannot serve for health reasons. <coughs> Certainly. I'll talk to General Lochvitsky. Margaret. Holly. No, sit down, please. I'm on my way to the bank. The money should be here today. How do you feel? It's too hot here for Russians. I'll see you later. An expensive hotel? <laughs> you seem to be in good hands, Captain. What are you implying? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Will you submit my letter? 
Well, of course, I will do it. But I can make no guarantee that they will accept it. <laughs> Madame is upset. How touching. Matahari has to cut her expenses. Let's follow her. doing don't worry about it stay on her good afternoon Margaret a doorman shouldn't see a woman of your position walking in the Sun like that I see that you are not very happy to see me why? I am? At least, it explains why I couldn't get my money. We had a deal. I just want to keep you honest. I could give you a lift. Right to the door. Please, jump into the car. What do you want? You know what. I want you to work for us. I will be living in Lag, if you need anything. You have no use to us in Hug. If you want your money, I want the names of your accomplices in France. What accomplices? <laughs> you admitted you work with German intelligence. I think you still are. You think so? What are you going to do about it? We can arrest you right now. In Madrid. But it's a neutral country. You have no evidence against me. What if I tell your Russian lover that you are the reason why he's a cripple now? Because you warned the Germans of the Russian attack. They will never believe you. <laughs> you know it's true. What if he sees it in your eyes? Think about it. Go back to the hotel, Hervé, and don't charge Madame for the ride. I'll expect to hear from you soon. She'll contact the Germans. She'll tell them that we've asked for information. And they'll give her false reports to give us. She will pass it over to us. Mm -hmm. We will check it and arrest her. Exactly. No need to watch our hotel anymore. Let's go. Good evening, Frau. What brings you here? You read the note. I use a secret code. I'm Agent H21. Please, sit down. The circumstances forced me to leave France. That's a shame. And Captain Ledoux was blackmailing me and made me agree to work for him. Is that so? Of course, I only pretended to go along. If you give me some information that appears real, he will trust me and we can use that. 
So you've got it all worked out. Elizabeth. I'm glad to see you. You told me you got the permit by sleeping with a lieutenant. Why did you lie to me, Margaret? I had no choice. I knew you wouldn't agree to let me make the deal to see Vladimir. But I had to. I really love him. How sweet. Because of what I do, I cannot get my money from the bank. What a rascal. Isn't he Herr von Calder? I've got important information for you. For instance, did you know that the French are moving a regiment from the front line to Senegal? We will check that. And I could have sold many German agents to Ledoux for that money. But I don't want to betray my friends. For instance, they could have gotten Frau Doctor several days ago on a silver platter if I had chosen to betray you. But I didn't. What do you suggest now? So what do you want, Margaret? False facts. To trick Ledu. <coughs> Signor could hardly breathe. We wanted to call for the doctor, but he refused. I understand. Thank you. Oh, Margaret, you are back. Why, of course I'm here. You're not feeling good? I'm never feeling good without you. Oh, poor darling. I'm here. We'll be leaving soon. Very soon. <coughs> the information Matahari gave us was false, as I suspected. So we know she's still working for the Germans. I will take charge of all information regarding this operation. We will make sure they have false dates and troop movements. And as Germans move on it, we'll trap them. We'll give false information to one of our African regiments and allow the Germans to discover it. We will allow the Germans to think the regiment is returning to Senegal. I gave this information to Matahari, and I'm sure she passed it to the Germans. Je no French, ask him. Où va votre régiment? Allez va. Nous allons dans la ville des Bess, à la gare du train, nous retournons à la maison. He says they are heading to the station to go home. And where is this home? Où est ta maison? Senegal. We'll change our regiment's orders, but generate fake communications and movements to make the Germans think the orders are still in force. Yes, we'll move out immediately. Get the soldiers ready. We're advancing and attacking. The Germans will attack, thinking the front lines are vulnerable. They will be met with overwhelming force. As the Germans are wiped out, they will want to take revenge on their beloved agent. Our units were trapped. The enemy used poisonous gas. Our regiments that led the attack were completely destroyed by the gas. Go on. I have to read this to the commander and the entire staff. Keep reading. Those who did not die of gas poisoning were shot or stabbed to death. No more than 50 soldiers survived out of three units. We hardly managed to stop the counter-strike of the French regiment. It caused great losses. And this is all because of your agent, Matahari? What do you have to say for yourself? I deserve to die. So do I. But it would make our enemies even happier. All we can do is make her pay for this betrayal. Let me do it, please. This hot climate is killing him. Your husband needs marine air and a cold climate, Signora. We're going soon. Hurry up, then. 
He's fallen asleep. Take him as soon as you can. Thank you. News from Madrid. You may go. What's the news? Mother Hari moved to a cheap hotel. Mm -hmm. She spawned all her jewelry to pay for the doctor for her Russian lover. But he is doing worse. I feel sorry for that captain. But he chose the wrong woman. Tell our people in Madrid to be especially careful starting tomorrow. The Germans won't forgive her betrayal, but we must not lose her to them. I want that traitor to be punished here, in France. Is she still at the hotel? Yes, she doesn't leave the Russian. The French must be somewhere nearby, too. Two people are in both exits day and night. Don't let them get in our way. This must be an execution, not just a murder. You will have five agents. Excuse me, please. Good morning, madam. Stay here. the gas attack. This time the French have gassed the Germans. One moment. I shall get it. Who is it? I have a bank draft from Madame Matahari. What are you doing? Get out! Get out! Deceived us, Madame Zelle. I didn't deceive you. I relayed the information. Thousands of German soldiers died. You will pay for this. <laughs> Don't touch him! You are not loyal to any people or ideals. You live only to satisfy your pathetic personal needs. Such people are useless. You will die. <laughs> Yes. Who are they? 
Why do they want to kill you? It doesn't matter. She'll be fine. She's just sleeping. Thank you. Calm down. Calm down, Monsieur Maslov. I'm a friend. Who are you? Captain George Ledoux. Second Bureau of General Headquarters of the French Republic. Read this. You see now? Perhaps. So, do you know what happened? Of course I do. Margaret is my agent. German spies tried to kill her. What did she do for you? She knows many high-ranking German officers. We wanted... A you wanted her to sleep with them for you, didn't you? Anyway, being here is dangerous for her. I suggest we take her to France. I can protect her there. Well, it's your decision. Just let me know. But I think the doctors are much better in France. Wait. When can we leave? What's the matter, officer? A standard check. There's a wounded woman with us. We need a doctor or a hospital. Wounded? May I see? Out of the car. Out of the car! What's the matter? What are you doing? We're arresting this woman on charges of spying for Germany. France, madame. Where's Vladimir? Vladimir is not the one you should worry about, madame. You've given me false information, which proves you are a double agent working for the Germans. Germans lost. I have no proof against me. You really think that? No, so. We'll see. You will stand trial, and if found guilty, you will be executed. Take them.
Evening, Volodya. I guess we can't believe the newspapers. Huh? You look great, Volodya. <coughs> you want to talk to me about something? I want to sell my father's estate. Sell it now? You get nothing for it. There's a war on. I think you've lost your mind. First you betrayed Vera, and now you want to betray your father's memory. What do you need the money for? Dresses? Jewelry? <coughs> she needs a lawyer. Trust me, Peter Alexeyevich. I wouldn't dare ask you if I had any other option. Please stop fidgeting, my friend. I assure you we will get these stupid charges dismissed. I would prefer if you took the money and we could sign the contract. Contract? Well, if it's that important to you, let's sign a contract. About one franc. I won't accept any more than that. I've admired Matahari for many years. She's a brilliant actress and a gorgeous woman. And these idiots... These gentlemen here are telling me that the fabulous Matahari is a spy. It's a ridiculous lie. <laughs> Maître Clunet, I'm your attorney. Margaret Zeller. Monsieur Le Dieu, Monsieur Martin. Delighted to finally meet you in person, madame. Do you think this is a whorehouse? You'll stay away from the prison. It's all right, Martin. Let Madame enjoy the attention. She won't have much from here on. You're as kind as ever, Captain. Here, please. Well, now? Shall we begin? Madame Margaret, Zella is accused of espionage for Germany. Oh, my goodness. That's a serious accusation. Do you have any proof of that? I mean, no disrespect, but this supports her claim that you were blackmailing her, Captain. Which means any information you got from her was given under duress. And furthermore, I feel compelled to remind you blackmail is against the law. So I don't think the court will look kindly on your actions. It's wartime, Matra. And all's fair in war. <laughs> but while I agree that you need to be ruthless with the enemy, this woman is not a soldier. Blackmail can get a confession out of a saint. It's not a legal tool for an investigation, especially when it's used 
against such a fragile creature. I strongly advise you not to sign anything because I strongly suspect they do not have any substantial evidence against you. Thank you, Maitre. That's what I thought. Well, let's leave this decision to the court. In the meantime, I'm sure that Monsieur Maslov and Madame Zola would appreciate a few minutes on their own. This will be over soon, and I hope to see you back on the stage. Try to come as soon as possible. It's so hard here. I can't anymore. I need character witnesses who are ready to testify for her. She knows many important people. Some of them might be willing to help out. Of course, Mater. I will do whatever you tell me to do. We'll get her out. Believe me. I do. I am confident that the accusations will be dropped. No further comment. No comment. How are you going to defend that? Clear the way. Pardon me. Pardon me. Sir, I just want a statement. What is he saying? No comment. Please, one. No comment. No comment. My shoulder doesn't hurt me anymore. You wanted to see the sky. It's right above you. And here are the documents that you promised to sign. I will not sign anything. Not until I see Vladimir. We should shoot this whore without a trial. Calm down, Lieutenant. How do I know you are not trying to trick us again? You've had me locked up here for a month without a trial. You obviously called the shots here. All right, you'll see Captain Maslow. Captain Ledoux is waiting for you, Monsieur Maslov. It's a standard non-disclosure clause. Non-disclosure of what? That you won't repeat anything you see or hear in the prison. It's just a formality. To protect the prisoners. Doesn't seem like a formality. Huh. I guess things are different in Russia. This is French bureaucracy. Mateen. You idiot. How dare you mistreat the prisoner? Can't you see who you are dealing with? I apologize for the guard, madame. Monsieur Maslow. You have one hour. Close the door.
How are they treating you? Hmm? It's awful here. I deserve this. Don't say that. Please, don't. You don't realize who I am. What I've done. What are you talking about? I've been working for the German intelligence for many years. I don't believe it. And yet it's true. But even that isn't the worst of it. What happened to you? It's partly my fault. Are you saying Ledoux was right? You used the maps I was supposed to take to headquarters? I did. We photographed them. Mm. I'm so sorry. This is it, Mateen. Write it all down. The names. Hurry. Hurry. I slept with men for money. And to get information from my German friends. What friends? The friends who tried to hang you from the ceiling fan in the hotel? Those friends? I just want to... Leave it all behind. And start having a normal life at last. I had to tell you. You can leave me now. I understand. I'm not going anywhere until you'll tell me everything. How sweet. We got her. Not yet. Now she will believe me, not him. This will work. May we enter, madame? To what do I owe the pleasure? How is it going with your lawyer, Met Clunet? It has been a long time since he was here. I assume you were preventing him from seeing me? No, it's possible for him to see you anytime. Perhaps he has more important clients. We have sort of a corporate dispute with the Bosch. Who owns the patent on Matahari? Are you here to dazzle me with your sense of humor, gentlemen? Because I'm not amused. We're not trying to amuse you. I'm afraid Matt Clunet is not the best attorney for your case. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. And I think we'll see his best feature is that it's not costing a penny for your Russian friend. But now Maslov has all the money he needs. Yet Semikhin recently wrote him a large check. Nice, considering Maslov called off the marriage to his daughter. Well, maybe it's back on. Monsieur Maslov has to think about his own future now. Perhaps that is why he told us everything about you being a German spy. He would never betray me. Never. He loves me, and I love him. How dare you? Huh? He wrote everything down. Everything he knew about your crimes.
This is not his handwriting. Monsieur Maslov does not write so well in French. This is why he dictated this statement to Martine. Just look there at the signature. I don't believe Margaret confessed. This has to be a fraud. No, it's quite genuine. It's signed, dated, all in proper form. She incriminated herself. How did you do it? We put her on the rack, tore out her nails, knocked out all her teeth. I want to see her. <laughs> Good luck with that. I doubt she will see you, though. She doesn't want to see anyone these days. What about Maslov? Does he know about this? Maslov? Her dear Maslov is the prime witness against her. He sold her out completely. You wanted to see me? Sit down. I don't have much time. It won't take long. She's pleading guilty. She signed a complete confession. Why? You ask me why? I'll ask you why I get letters from generals, former president, ministers. What good are they? It's all useless now. Thanks to you, they showed her your statements. It was very informative. You destroyed her. What are you talking about? The one you gave Ledoux. Three pages with your signature on each of them. You? Did you sign any papers that they could have possibly filled in later? Yes. When is the trial? It starts tomorrow. Let me talk to her. Once she knows the truth, she will change her mind. No, she refuses to see anybody. I've been trying. Is there anything I can do? Not a thing. If you try to recant, they will simply charge you with perjury. And since they have your statement against her, if you even show up at the trial, it could go worse for her. Please. The defense may present the case now. Matter Clunet.
Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen, people of France, I'm addressing you today on behalf of a woman who is famous, but also helpless and frightened. She is recovering from a recent wound inflicted by German spies while she was working as an agent for France. But despite that, despite of her service and her patriotism, a case has been falsified against her. The prosecutors blackmailed her into testifying against herself, and she relented just to end her suffering. She suffers because she feels abandoned by everyone. But I am here to say you're not abandoned. The truth about Vladimir is that he... He had nothing to do with it. I did it all myself. Margaret, don't! Everything in my confession is true. I don't believe this. Order! Matahari would never do Order. these things. Was it really you, Matahari? Order! Dance for us, madam. Order! Order! Does this mean you plead guilty? Yes, Your Honor. I believe she just threw away her last chance to survive. What did the judge say? The judge? What is the verdict? Let's get a coffee. Mater. Death. Firing squad. Captain Ladeau tricked me into signing fake testimony. Then he used it to trick Margaret Zell into incriminating herself. But her testimony is true. She is not a spy. May I come in, sir? Captain Georges Ladeau, reporting as ordered, sir. Do you know the reason I sent for you? Not entirely, sir. I assume it is regarding the court trial of Margaret Gertrude Zella, or as she calls herself, Matahari. The identification number of Madame Matahari for German intelligence is Agent H-21. Where does this information come from? Her own remorseful confession. Lying bastard. Calm down. Monsieur Maslov here claims that you deceived him. He says you tricked him into signing a non-disclosure document, and then later his fake testimony against Matahari appeared on those pages. This is true, absolutely. That's what I did. I agreed to help you. Don't make me regret it, ex-Captain Maslow. Explain yourself, Captain. <coughs> we did not have clear evidence to convict Madahari. As Agent H-21, we did trick her into confessing. But the crimes she confessed to were then proven independently. 
If Monsieur General wishes it, I will now destroy the papers that Monsieur Mesloff has signed. Yes, I would like that, Captain. It doesn't matter. Margaret has been sentenced to death. Let's protect the honor of a Russian officer. I understand. She was a spy. There's nothing we can do about it. The do, you're a scoundrel. I challenge you to a duel. Your man's crazy. Are you out of your damn mind, idiot? What duel? Monsieur Maslov, I'm an officer of the French army, which is now at war. It would be preposterous to fight under the circumstances. It's inappropriate. You are not only a scoundrel, but a coward, too. Only my respect for you, General, keeps me from... Get out. You've disgraced yourself. Spare the Russian army, at least. <coughs> I hope he won't do anything stupid. I deserve to die. But please spare my beloved Vladimir. Please don't let them blame him. I know he must hate me. Well, he wouldn't have testified. I deserve his hate. But if there's anything you could grant me before I die, it would be to know that he forgives me. Please. I must have gone mad to be helping you with this, Vladimir. Thank you, Mater. Just this time and I will never bother you again. Dominique Charbot, a one-legged cemetery keeper. <coughs> he lost it in the war. Probably. We were out of touch for a while. He owes me a favor. I helped his family once. How exactly can a one-legged soldier be of any help? He can't. Unless he happens to be the grave digger for the Vincennes Cemetery. Dominique Charbot, right? Monsieur Chabot? Major Clunan sent me. <coughs> Maître said you fought in the war for us, here in France. I am Russian. We have our issues with Germans, too. I fought too. I lost my leg during the Battle of the Somme. I see the war crippled you as well. Will you help me? I will. I don't want your money, brother, but I'm not the only one involved. Yes. As Klunet said. First, you need to get here. This is where the nuns' rooms are. Approach to the left of the North Tower. The guards make their rounds in eight minutes. So once they pass, you have that long to get inside before they return. to the Northwest Tower. I'll throw you a rope to climb up. Be fast, but also careful and quiet. If the guards hear you and look up, they will see you. See another guard. You'll have to knock him out.
If the nuns see you, don't panic. They don't know everyone by sight. Don't talk to them. Just walk by, calmly. I'll try to remove the guards in the corridor and meet you by the cells. of Monsieur Maslow. You put four guards in the infirmary. You gave me a good reason to shoot you. Nobody would blame me. Or you'd prefer to get arrested for attempting a prison break? I had no choice, brother. I will kill you. I was simply uh, being a patriot. I uh, cannot help spies and a veteran. Which war did you fight, you trash? The one that defends your neighborhood whorehouse. Calm down, Mateen, calm down. Uh, Monsieur Chabot, you've done your civic duty. Now you may uh, go back to your graveyard. Uh, uh, I will kill you, Georges Ledoux. I promise to, and I will! <laughs> Hey. Did you have a bad dream? Kind of. You were talking in your sleep. Calling for someone in Vladimir. My fiance. But I've lost his love, and I don't deserve it. Your Excellency, we received a call from headquarters. They're asking whether or not we're going to request extradition for Maslov. He's accused Maslov of- Maslov resigned. He is not part of the army anymore, so he is no longer our concern. They should contact the embassy. It's mayhem there nowadays. That is their problem.
firing squad is in place. We'll go through the castle. It'll be much faster. Right this way. my child? I am, Father. You have sinned, my child. I know. Do you repent? Not as much as I regret. Regret living a life without love. Although I thought I have plenty of it, but I was wrong. I met the right person. Too late. Bow your head. I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pride is a deadly sin, my child. Is it a sin to face death with dignity? No chance. Your Russian lover incapacitated half the guards breaking in here. A noble chevalier fighting to free his princess. What are you talking about? He testified. Did you really believe that he would testify against you? Thank you. Thank you for giving me my love back. Ready. Aim.
Oh, may I help you? A letter from Paris for Monsieur Ledoux. Oh, all right. Give it to me. I was told to deliver it personally. Oh, come on in. Have a seat. I'm Georges Ledoux. The letter, please. Here you go, monsieur. <sighs> what the hell? <coughs> I told you I'd kill you. <coughs> 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 